This is a review for the Echovax D-Bot Osmo T8 AI VI. The T8's airflow was measured at 23 CFM. Its suction was measured at 1.33 kPa. In our carpet stress test, the T8 picked up all debris types very well. This robot's direct cleaning path is only an average width as its brush hole compartment is only an average width at six and a half inches wide. The robot's overall cleaning path is an above average width as the robot itself has an above average diameter of 13 and a half inches and it has two side brushes which pull debris from the perimeter of the robot into its direct cleaning path and so extend the width of its overall cleaning path. The T8's wide cleaning path allows it to cover more ground quicker than most other robot vacuums we tested, though it still relies on repeated movement over the same areas to properly clean up in this test over time. In our carpet deep clean test, the T8 picked up eight grams of debris after three passes over an area of carpet embedded with 30 grams of fine debris. In our hard floor stress test, the T8 once again picked up all debris types very well. Note how its side brushes are especially effective pulling debris into its direct cleaning path in this test. The T8 performed reasonably well cleaning edges. It gets very close to the edge during this movement parallel to the edge, and this allows it to clean the edge quite well using this movement pattern, but it doesn't get a perfect clean using only this movement pattern, and it doesn't have any other movement patterns that could help it clean edges better. The T8 performed very well in our robot vacuum crevice test, even on default power. It was one of the best performers in this test among all of the robot vacuums we've tested so far. In our human hair pickup test, the T8 picked up all the hair, but most of that hair wasn't pulled into its dustbin. 70 to 80% of the hair it picked up tangled around its side brushes and around its brush roll and had to be cleaned off manually. In our pet hair pickup test, the T8 picked up and collected all of the shorter pet hair used for this test in its dustbin. The T8 does come with a mopping attachment, and so we tested how well it could mop. It did not perform very well in our mopping test, leaving streaks of water and grape juice on the test surface after completing its cleaning cycle. Inspecting its mopping attachment after the test, we found a concentration of grape juice over a small area of the pad, indicating that it didn't apply equal pressure across the whole pad during the test. This is likely why it performed worse in this test than competitors that use a very similar setup for mopping. We tested the robot's cleaning efficiency and coverage in two different environments, an empty room and a cluttered room. But before we get to those tests, we first need to discuss how the T8 AIVI navigates. The T8 AIVI is equipped with a laser and a front-facing camera. The laser is used for navigation, while the front-facing camera is used to avoid certain obstacles. AIVI stands for Artificial Intelligence and Visual Interpretation. The visual component is provided by the front-facing camera. We'll talk more about the robot's interpretation and artificial intelligence in just a moment. In our empty room testing, we see how the T8 uses LiDAR navigation to move around the room. Note how it mostly moves in a row-by-row -row pattern, but unlike most other LiDAR robots we tested, also adds circular patterns to its cleaning cycle. It's unclear why it adds these patterns. Normally, we only see circular patterns around circular obstacles like table legs or chair legs, but the T8 adds them here in a completely empty room. Regardless of this idiosyncrasy, the T8 does get good coverage across the whole room. In our cluttered room testing, we again see good coverage and we again see circular patterns, but this time it's actually around circular obstacles. The T8 performs very well navigating around all of the obstacles used for this test. It's especially impressive how easily it navigates around the chair frame used for this test, an obstacle that gives a lot of robot vacuums we tested a lot of trouble. We again see some strange behavior though. Near the end of the cleaning cycle, the T8 pushes against the charging dock from two different directions. Now, this is a very cluttered environment without a lot of space between obstacles or obstacles and the charging dock. And this is only the first trial. The robot did not repeat this behavior in subsequent trials but this is unique, notable behavior nonetheless. Before we move on, let's talk about the robot's artificial intelligence and visual interpretation. The purpose of this feature is simple. It should allow the robot to avoid certain obstacles. Most robot vacuums run right over smaller obstacles like charging cords, laundry, shoes, and pet waste. 
The T8 AIVI should allow it to avoid these types of obstacles. So we tested it. Our testing showed that the robot definitely recognizes most types of smaller obstacles. After this particular test, the app reported that the robot recognized four of the five obstacles used for this test. But even though the robot recognizes these obstacles, it still doesn't navigate around them very effectively. It tends to still push most obstacles around a lot as it tries to move around them. For some obstacles, this isn't an issue, like the shoe. But for others, it's definitely a problem, like pet waste or power cords that can tangle around the robot's brush roll. And then there's always the fact that the robot just doesn't recognize certain obstacles at all. It runs right over this smaller pet waste prop and drags it along to the point where we had to end the test and pull the rubber pet waste out of its brush roll compartment. We also ran additional trials to see if the robot would learn to move around certain types of obstacles more effectively over time, but saw similar results. Needless to say, at least according to our testing, this technology as it's implemented in the T8 AIVI still has a long way to go and should not be the reason you purchase this particular robot vacuum. Other important specifications and test results we considered for this review are summarized here. Note especially that this is a full-fledged mapping robot that has the ability to map multiple floors of your home. And using the Echovax companion app, you can label different parts of the generated map, set the robot to clean specific parts of the map, or set it to stay out of certain parts of the map. In the same chart, also note the TH runtime, bin volume, and noise output, and how those specifications and test results compare to the average for all of the robot vacuums we've tested so far. Lastly, note the robot's diameter and height. These dimensions make the T8 one of the larger robot vacuums we've tested. Moving on to what we like and dislike about this vacuum, first let's talk about what we like. The T8 has excellent airflow and suction. It picks up most types of debris very well on both carpets and hard floors. It also deep cleans carpet well for a robot vacuum. It gets good coverage and navigates well around large obstacles. It also has excellent battery life. It runs quietly on default suction and can run extremely quietly on its quiet setting. We also really like the fact that it is compatible with the Echovax auto empty station. We bought the station separately for testing with the T8. It was very easy to retrofit the T8 for use with the station and it also worked very well with the station. Moving on to what we dislike about this vacuum, its edge performance could definitely be better and so could its mopping. We also didn't like certain aspects of its performance in our coverage testing. Its circular movements in our empty room testing were a bit strange, and its pushing the charging dock in our first clutter room test was also a bit concerning. Lastly, we have the AIVI component of this robot. It disappointed. The T8 AIVI recognizes smaller obstacles, but doesn't properly avoid them, at least not according to our testing. In terms of general recommendations, the last negative I just discussed is most important. The T8 AI VI has a hefty price tag. Why? Largely because of that AI VI component. If it worked well, it might be worth the price for a certain segment of consumers. But as it stands, all that it does is push up the price of this robot vacuum without actually providing all of the benefits that it claims that it can provide. The T8 AI VI is not a bad robot vacuum by any means. It's just not worth paying extra for it because it comes with AIVI. See the description of this video for a link to the latest updated list of all of the robot vacuums we do recommend. And thank you for watching.